Hi everyone and welcome. As we do sometimes, I'm out here in my garden and um, we're checking in on my outdoor bins. And this isn't really what I consider to be one of my formal worm bins, but it is one of the places where I come to collect worms because it's really my outdoor compost bin. And um, even though I've never put any worms in here, I always manage to find hundreds and hundreds of worms in here every time I go looking for them. And um, besides worms, I know that there's another creature that occupies this container. And I just noticed that there was a couple of them hanging out right over here. Usually we observe them in their larva form. They look like little worms, little maggots. But uh, here we have a, uh, a black soldier fly, one that has probably just recently emerged from its cocoon. I noticed that there was also another one right over here. And it's kind of nice using the phone here. I decided I might try using the phone since it's got a built-in light. Let's try to give a little bit more uh, illumination on the scene. And I believe that um, I was in here a moment ago looking around and I believe that I had actually observed yet another black soldier fly lurking around down here within the material. But it's a bit tough to see here. Usually, uh, usually when we come in here, we're actually in pursuit of worms. But even though that's not why I'm in here now, I just figured I would uh, give everyone a quick look at the actual black soldier flies that were hanging out there on the surface. I guess the other nice thing is that with all these leaves on top, we're probably going to be able to see a fair number of worms just hanging out pretty close to the surface. Coming up because of all the moisture that's present here. It's been raining for a couple days now. So I don't think we would have to go down too deep to spot a few worms hanging out. I might come back in here again at some point in the near future to collect up some worms and uh, try to move them over into my outdoor worm bin. That's what I've been doing lately to populate my outdoor worm bin. In fact, my outdoor worm bin has been pretty much populated exclusively by worms um, that came out of this outdoor compost bin. And it's always interesting to see the, uh, the black soldier flies, how docile they are. They just stay put, even though I'm, out, I'm in here doing all kinds of things, disrupting their peace. They don't seem to mind. So, uh, so that's my outdoor compost bin. I figure we'd do a quick check-in on the outdoor worm bin too, because I'm suspicious of something that's going on over there. So I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So this old beaten up garbage pail with the holes on the bottom is really what used to be my outdoor worm bin. This is what I kept it in when they, uh, when they survived all winter last year. But more recently, I was running my outdoor worm bin in this uh, fabric bag. And um, I might actually go back to running the worms out of this plastic container over the winter time again. And, um, and that might provide a little bit extra protection for them from the cold once the winter months roll around. So I've got, um, I've got this piece of wood holding down everything under it, which is a couple sheets of cardboard and um, a piece of plastic. So now what I'm referring to, what I was going to show you guys, was that I came in here yesterday and I noticed that there was all kinds of food debris right out here on top of this cardboard. Stuff that couldn't have been placed there by the worms. So it made me a little suspicious. So even though this container is covered with that upside down garbage pail, I was still growing suspicious that something was lurking around in here. So um, what I actually saw was, and I think I saw it down here before too, I, um, I actually leveled all of this off yesterday, but if you look in here now, there's some distinct um, cavities, some holes here, and it, I don't know, I'm, I'm not 100% sure of what it might be, but I know that I've got little moles, little shrews or whatever they're called, that, um, that scavenge around in my yard, and I've got this funny feeling that these little moles, I believe they are, have been in my worm bin. And I don't know if they've been, you know, raiding the, the worm population. Because the one thing I've always felt lately, despite the fact that I put worms in here, large amounts of worms in here, numerous times over and over again, making me guess that I was somewhere in the neighborhood of maybe a 5,000 worm population in here, I've never felt like 
I was seeing a huge number of worms in here. So I, um, so I'm starting to get concerned that I might have a little predator coming in here and wiping out my worm population. Right? I mean, you look in here and you would expect to see tons and tons of worms, considering that each migration of worms that I've initiated was thought to consist of hundreds and hundreds of worms. Here and there, you see a couple worms hanging out. But somehow, I think I would expect to see many, many more than this. And you know, those little moles, they, uh, they dig around. They can get right through this material. They'll dig, they'll dig through this stuff, you know, like if it was snow that they were burrowing through. And they'll, uh, they'll seek out all these little, little pieces of food everywhere, little little protein snacks, little worms everywhere. So I'm starting to think that if I, uh, if I continue putting worms in here, the only thing I'm really doing is feeding the, <laughs> the little mole that lives in my yard. Or maybe even more than one mole. So I'm starting to think that I might actually continue with the, uh, movement of worms from my outdoor compost bin into this container. But I might have to relocate this container to a place where it's not going to be accessible by the mole, or by the moles. So I'll be monitoring this. I'll be, I'll be leveling things off here nice and level. So that if, I, uh, if I've got trespassers in here again, I should be able to tell. Because, um, here I'll show you. As you saw, there were clear little ditches, little burrows, all around the surface of this thing. And it was only yesterday that I came in here to level this whole thing off, so there was nothing like that in here. So once again, I'm leveling the whole surface off, and I got a feeling even if I come back as soon as tomorrow, I'm probably gonna find, you know, little cavities like this, where the, where the mole has been zipping around under the surface or near the surface trying to um, hunt down worms to eat. So for now, um, I guess I'll leave, I'm going to leave the bin down here, the bag down here on the ground, um, or whatever, let the mole have one more stab at these worms, it's not the end of the world I guess. I should be able to get more out of the outdoor compost bin to repopulate this thing. Um, then I'll have to think about another place to put this system so that it's not accessible to any little uh, thieves like the mole or whoever it is that's that's pilfering the worms out of this container. So that's where I stand with my outdoor worm bin. At this point I really have no clue how many worms are in it. So I think the, uh, the original estimates that were being tallied up up until now are toast. Um, and I guess an upcoming to-do item over here is going to be to find a new home for this thing. Somewhere off the ground, I guess. So usually I wear a glove, but today I did not. So I'm a little bit filthy, but that's okay. I'll wash up in a moment. But before I do, let me just really quickly say thank you. Thank you for coming by and checking out my outdoor worm bins. I'll give you a really quick thumbs up here with my filthy hand. To say that if you enjoyed the video, then please remember to give me a thumbs up. That's always really appreciated. And also consider subscribing to the channel too. That's really appreciated as well. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.